Oh my god, Mom! I found it! Oh, it must have been decomposing down here for months! What are we gonna do with it when he gets it out? Well, I guess we'll just say a prayer and flush it down the toilet like we did when your goldfish died. <laughs> okay, back, people! Back! Now give me some room! Give me some room! Oh. 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 God, it stinks! Did you find his other bowling shoe down there? No, just the eyelets. I'm gonna go throw this thing in the backyard. That's a good idea, honey. Just put it out with Buck's house. You know how he likes to roll around with your father's old things. <laughs> I guess he's not finished with your father's home of the Whopper jockey shorts. <laughs> well, Peg, I got him. Third row, center aisle. The best seats in the house for the greatest show on earth. Oh, what, public enemy? Nirvana? Carla and her disappearing vegetables? <laughs> I mean, the rock group. <laughs> Not the blonde stripper who's making a squash disappear for Thanksgiving. No pig in training. <laughs> These are tickets to the Jeffersons Live. It's their Moving On Up tour. <laughs> what was the Facts of Life Eating On Up tour all sold out? <laughs> Marcy, I can't believe it. We are actually gonna see George and Wheezy perform episodes from their sitcom live on stage. <laughs> now, when you say live, do you mean live as opposed to on TV or live as opposed to daddy? <laughs> Look, we are talking about the Jeffersons. They made me understand the greatness of the African-American culture. I used to think I was a hip white chick. <laughs> then I saw George and Wheezy, and they made me realize that I'm just a square honky peg in a round black world. Whoa. Well, I guess I can relate. I mean, if Beavis and Butthead did a live show 90 years from now, I'd be there. <laughs> Kelly, Beavis and Butthead are cartoons. They prefer to be called dimensionally challenged, bud. Why do I feel so alone? Because no one likes you. <laughs> hey! Hey, I got good news. So do we. No one cares. <laughs> hey. I just heard they're opening up a brand new sports bar in the neighborhood. Finally, a place a man can relax after work. Well, what about home? <laughs> Finally, a place a man can relax after work. A place where women bring you food. Chips and pretzels, nuts with sugar on them. Uh, you haven't even asked us about our good news. Oh, I'm sorry, Peg, what is it? Well, you see, we got four Another tickets. thing they're gonna have at the bar? <laughs> 12 TVs, each with a different game on. Oh, Peg, I tell you, I'm so hot. If Marcy wasn't here, I'd take you on the floor right now. Oh, yeah. Get out, Marcy. Never mind, mood is past. Well, all I can say is I'm glad my man has evolved to the point where he doesn't need a sports bar to go to. Hey, Al! Did you hear about the new sports bar? Sure did! <laughs> Icky Shuffle! 